it's almost like it's a funeral the West Indies just got booted from the biggest stage in cricket current in modern cricket and we are not hearing anything coming out of the players who we loved to watch we love to watch those players go out there we root for them the Brian Laras, the Chris Gale, the Shanda Paul, Wavy Lines, Marlon Samuels, nothing. We are, it might be only um, Polar that said, oh, it's a dark day for the West Indies. But nobody else? Why? Think, Just think about it. It's like you had a friend and they died. And you nobody showed up to the funeral. <laughs> nobody showed up to the funeral we only hear some of the friends from overseas you know like the Ricky Ponting, the Varenda Sewak, the Shai Bakhtars the everybody else who were disappointed saying you know what it's such a bad day for the West Indies welcome again to Rewrite the Narrative where it's okay to be curious like share and subscribe and drop a comment now if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you like if you watch the video just subscribe um subscribe for a month let's see what what goes on from there if you don't like it you just unsubscribe but yes so i went over to twitter and instagram and um facebook and everything on the internet trying to find what the the previous players the previous west indies players had to say about the situation because you know there's a lot to say about the situation and those people on the inside will have a little bit more to say because they're more connected and they spent years playing cricket you know the chandapals the, the chris gale the bravo the pollard the you name it the marlon samuels um russell narine i went over and i was trying i was just looking to face to instagram and twitter because i'm just it's not they we didn't see anything just popping up so i had to go search and we understand that the west indies team they had they went to a rough period where the players were disgruntled with the management and the management were disgruntled with the players so they decided that they're going to get a new set of players, a new crop of players because the previous players, the previous superstars and legend and champions failed miserably in the previous World Cup causing the West Indies to win from defending champion to getting kicked out in the group in the Super 12 stages likewise a lot of teams got kicked out to not even qualifying for the world cup and this is what those legendary players those champions and those superstars had to say yeah absolutely nothing it is very very strange that the team the the cricket players who played for the west indies in such for so many years who had so much to say so much to give so much to input are silent nothing to be said it's almost like it's a funeral the west indies just got booted from the biggest stage in cricket current in modern cricket and we are not hearing anything coming out of the players who we loved to watch we love to watch those players go out there we root for them the Brian Laras, the Chris Gale, the Shanda Paul, Wavy Lines, Marlon Samuels, nothing. We are, it might be only um, Polar that said, oh, it's a dark day for the West Indies. But nobody else? Why? Think, Just think about it. It's like you had a friend and they died. And you nobody showed up to the funeral. <laughs> nobody showed up to the funeral we only hear some of the friends from overseas you know like the Ricky Ponting, the Varenda Sewak, the Shai Bakhtars the everybody else who were disappointed saying you know what it's such a bad day for the West Indies Ireland on the other hand they're, they're winning they're beating up England they are just enjoying themselves you know the Duckward Lewis system came through for them today and they are still in the World Cup so we can say anything no why aren't we hearing from the Chris Gales of the world? Why are we not hearing from Andre Rosler Narain? No, nothing from Shimran Etmaya. Nothing. Why? It's because these players are far removed from the West Indies team. Even after they win two championships for the West Indies. And in, the, in the case of Chris Gale, you could say three because these players who did so much for west indies cricket were taken out of west indies cricket 
and ridicule and push to the side to the point where now that West Indies is in a crisis it's almost like these players are disgruntled they forget their roots now is the time that you could look at them and say hey you forgot your roots but no they were pushed out they were bastardized and no it would really be good i don't know if it's just me i think it really would be a good thing to hear these players come out and just bring support to the west indies you know like say you know what we will rally back you know it's just a phase or something nothing none of the west indies players and only all right so chris gale shanda paul is our, currently a coach sawan the just the players that we grew up watching Courtney Walsh, Ambrose, those are the players that we, we grew up watching. The newer players, none of them got respected. And the older players, the the Warren, the Wheats, the Richards, you know, those, those players that brought glory days to West Indies. Those players are somewhat still vocal and still held in high regards. Even though cricket started declining a long, long time ago. Those players, their memory are preserved. No. Even in the rough times, they still look back and said, okay, what, what those players did, what these players did. But the ones who really did something in modern times, which we could attribute to some of the coaches of modern times. We could attribute this to the president, the previous president, Dave, um, Dave Cameron, and we could attribute this to Simmons, the, the coach. The, the previous victory in the T20 World Cup. We could attribute it to them. Right? But we cannot see the West Indies champions coming out in support. Like, none of the West Indies champions come out in support of the West Indies team. In such a time of despair. This is a funeral. The, the president is going to do a post-mortem. It's like, even before the day, the burial... People start gathering around and saying, you know what, you'll bounce back. They give encouraging words. But this is one boring funeral. You don't think about it. This is a, such a boring funeral. It's like these people forgot that they were even West Indies players. They are so far removed. And we cannot blame them. It's rightfully so. Such a shame. Such a pity. It It is an institution, a brotherhood that... Players who sweat together, work together as a team, should be friends and brothers forever. But these players are individualized and removed from a unit and become a bastard child here and a bastard child there. And you are too rich and you are too rich minded. And the West Indies is in shambles and nobody is coming out to say you hey we'll bounce back we always do it's just a matter of time some encouraging words a campaign that comes out uh, that shows that the west indies still have support from its players the ones that brought glory to west indies and the ones that west indies brought glory to and wealth to what is going on why are we at this point this is the example of why west indies cannot rise again with the current setup they need something new a strategy that is new because nobody is coming out none of the players they are coming out in support of who is currently there no past player whether they are very much in the past or recent past even the current players then they can't say anything they know it, they, that they should not say anything that's an environment that requires change and we are having this discussion about whether or not our international coach should take up the helm and it absolutely seems like the right thing to do if not then some of the west indies successful cricketers need to have great power within the west indies because they know what winning is they know what it's like to go out there they know money that's another thing people who knows money know how to get money oh no like money is not that big influence on them those people cannot uh, actually go there and handle money because those people who don't know money they won't spend it properly 
and sometimes they either hoard it or steal it not saying that that's what's happening but it's a possibility rewrite the narrative this one was it's was just a shocker to me that the west indies player had so little to say after a, such an exit from the sport no support they don't come out in support because they don't feel like they are a part of the institution tell me what you guys think in the comment down below drop a comment please share the video like the video subscribe we, we are trying i'm trying to get to 2000 subscribers subscribe